Welcome everyone, Jimmy Dali here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Libra pack, which is available on the 16th of April. Uh, we got a dozer, a crawler loader, hydraulic excavator, an articulated dump truck, a telehandler, and a concrete mixer trailer. So we're going to check out each one pull them all out from the vehicle hall and bring them over to the construction site and see how they perform, see how they sound, see all the lights working and uh, actually operate them. Uh, just to give you a hands-on both from cockpit view and external camera. So let's check out the dozer first. It flattens and rips. Very nice. The 756 Litronic from Lieber. Let's get that out. Is. What a beauty. What a beauty. Turn all the lights on. The headlights. They actually articulate with the dozers from then and uh, the strobe working, the beacon. And the work lights, of course. So we've got two work lights on each side, and another four in the back. Very nice. Get out the horn. And we got a rip jaw in the back, but that only works when you're in the uh, construction area. So you won't go down now. All right, let's see how it sounds on asphalt. Full 90 degree turn. Let's transport this to the construction site and see how the rip jaw works and how the uh, scoop works. Not the scoop, the shovel. Internal camera going. Nice internal view of the uh, cockpit you uh, pan through it slowly mirrors on all sides except oh we do have a side mirror okay can we look outside no back on the outside let's actually drive it from the inside see how it sounds in here let's see how the horn sounds Bad, good effect.
And the rip jaw actually goes in now. Cool. Right through the dirt. Nice. We'll lift that back up. and clean very clean work all right let's get the next one in do the crawler loader the LR 636 electronic and this one does load bulk flattening and ripping I think it needs repairs Looking good. Take that out. There she is. The beauty. Again, rip jaws don't go in the asphalt. work on the articulation get it out from the inside see how everything works That's the horn from the inside. A nice full view of the cockpit. Very detailed controls. Check the lights out now. We got two headlights right on top of the uh, cabin. The beacon. And the work lights. Four work lights in the back. Right, let's take this to the construction site now. what it can do on dirt. Get up a bit. Get right alongside the other one.
full. Do the rib jaw now? Triple rib jaws. Nice effect. Put those up. We should check out the next one now. That's going to be the uh, Liebert R938. Let's check it out in the vehicle hall. So this one does ex excavation and lifting. Brand new excavator. Love this part. Right, let's take that out. Very nice medium sized scoop, not the biggest one, don't sound. And this is the cockpit from the inside. Nice visible sunroof. We'll take a look at the scoop all the way up. What it does. Then the arm. Turn on the lights. We've got one headlight on the bottom right of the vehicle. And work lights, two in the front. That's about it. Basically, it's uh, shining exactly where it's going to scoop only. No reason to have. Any other lights? All right, let's take it to the construction site and see how well it excavates. This one needs repairs, doesn't it? Uh, fast travel. It actually ramps up to 10 miles per hour after an extended period of uh, 5 miles. Keep it pressed down, suddenly it jumps to 10. There we go. That is cool.
see how well this thing excavates. We'll do uh, an internal camera first. External camera. We'll line this one up with the rest of them and uh, move on to the next vehicle. One is the articulated dump truck. Let's take a little look at what this does. Transports bulk material. This is the TA-230 Litronic. We'll take that out. Nice internal view. So we got left and right mirrors, both far and near. Oh, I like that the fact that you can actually look at the side of the vehicle if you scroll enough with your mouse. Very nice. Nice detail. Turn all our lights on. Oops, wrong button. Has hazard lights as well, front and back. Well, they're small, but you can see them on the sides. And we got four work lights right on top of the cab. 
and I think one facing the rear? No, that's not a work bike. Alright, let's see what this does. Our bulk materials can only be loaded at construction sites and at gravel plants. Walk around on this. Beautiful. I like the horn. <laughs> Very aggressive. I have hazard uh, turned on. Turn those off. There we go. sound from the inside. See that again from the outside. Um, let's fill it up with dirt, see what happens when we dispose of it, let's dump it here. Fully extended. Incredible. Let's just get daytime back in and then we'll switch tonight to see how everything looks uh, right after. that looks from the inside
pound is impeccable. Very nice. My light's not on. Yeah, they're on. What about the headlights? Don't seem to make much of a difference on the surface. Let's get that lined up. And now we have one more vehicle to take a look at, and that's the telehandler. I'm just going to give you a full walk around of all the vehicles. Very nice. Alright, let's get out the telehandler. This one does uh, ba basically forklift work only. It's the T69S from Lieber. All right, we'll take that out. Take out. We'll do a walk around on the telehandler from here because there's no use looking at it at the site. Very shiny, very brand new. Lots of detail. Alright, this one has telescopic extension, I think. So pressing shift can actually change the angle of the forks. Shift and up and down arrows. Wow. Now that's what I call power. Hydraulic power right there actually off the two wheels look at that very cool very very cool let's take a look at the inside Again, fantastic attention to detail. Very nice work from uh, Walton Bauer. Awesome job, guys. And Astragon, of course.
Yeah, 40 kilometers, sorry. Love the shock system, sound effects. Oh, nice screeching. Right, let's see how it sounds from the outside. Very good effects. Almost reminds me of uh, Freedom Factory. <laughs> Whoever knows what that is, just post it in the comments. All right, let's. Uh, if you guys know who Cletus McFarland is, of course. So we got two headlights on each side one on each side we got the beacon work lights wow work lights are all around this vehicle so we got one on the left three in the back and then three on the right side very cool take this up to the construction site not gonna be doing much there anyways There's no cargo to lift good amount of uh, exhaust effects coming out of the uh... whoops that's stuck Very nice, very, very nice. Four way steering. Cool. And last but not least, we got the Concrete mixer and trailer. Check that out. This is the HTM1204ZA. It does transport concrete and it does pour concrete as well. Pinkish red color from what I'm seeing here. But once we take it out, it's going to look orangey red, I think. Take that out and we'll take this out as well. Gonna need it. Wait, I took the wrong one out again. I'm making the same mistake. Right, we'll put that back. Oh God! Put that away. Take out the right one this time. There we go. Very cool. You got the motor, mixer motor in the front. Powers this whole cylinder. Everything comes out of this order. I think we could extend it as well. So it's got supports 
and as you can see now it looks a lot more orange than pink all right let's get in our man and load it up Coupled. Uh, the port legs are blocked. Hmm. Maybe we're not aligned properly. Support legs are blocked. I am hitched. I could be using the wrong one. Hold on. Might have to bring in a smaller truck. Fill it up. Should start turning. There we go. Get the sound of the the motor pumping away. You can hear actually hear the con uh, the cement swishing around in there. Got pouring on off, shoot on. All right, the shoot is extended. I think we could rotate the shoot as well. Uh, not that way. Hold on. Yep. It rotates. can actually pour cement. Almost at a 90 degree. Very nice. lights on this yep we got red rear lights and there should be hazard lights as well yep. hazard lights on it as well Track of the shoot. HTM 1204ZA truck mixer. Awesome, awesome. We'll take that. I don't know if we can transport this to the construction site. Let's see. This map. 
fast travel. Oh, we could. Good. That is awesome. We'll put that alongside the rest of the fleet. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is our six new Libra items for the Libra pack. This is going to be available on uh, April 16th. For all of you that don't have it, I do recommend you get it. And we're also going to have this available on the Season 2 Pass for uh, Construction Simulator as well. So consoles will get it, and the PC will get it as well. Take a look at everything. Line it up. There we go. Okay, let's see how they look nighttime as well. All lit up. All the work lights, <laughs> headlights, everything's turned on, beacons, very nice. Looking good. Right, let's capture a screenshot of the evening as well. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. Dump, the dump truck looks amazing as well. I love the front end. It's very heavy duty. Color handler, the mixer, everything. So guys, this is the Lieber pack. Check it out. On Steam. 16th of April. Big shout out to Astrogon. And Walton Bauer for uh, providing us such an awesome pack. This will be available in Season 2 Pass as well. Along with, uh, I think, two new trucks coming in the Season Pass. Uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. Nice little detailed showcase of all the uh, six vehicles. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And uh, don't forget to share, like, favorite, subscribe. This is Julie Smooley signing out. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now, guys.